Hey guys, what's up? This is Place the Movie Fan and it's time for another movie review. This time I will be reviewing the girl on a train. To be honest, I didn't expect much from this movie. I was interested in seeing it and after I've seen it, I gotta say, I think that this is a very great movie. So anyway, the girl on the train basically tells the story of a woman who travels in a train every day, looks out the window and imagines what the people in the houses she sees could be up to. Now I'm going to start by talking about the characters of the movie like I always do. First I'm going to talk about the protagonist of the movie, Rachel Watson, played by Emily Blunt. Now the description that I just ate it is just the beginning of the movie. For the rest of it, she receives the consequences of doing that. Now I'm gonna have to be honest, she is for the most part a cunt. Now don't get me wrong, the fact that a character is a cunt doesn't necessarily mean that it's a bad character. In fact, this movie does a very good job explaining exactly why she is such a cunt and why she has so many issues. But regardless of how much of a cunt she is, I still found myself wanting her to get better because she has at least something good in her. She, there is something nice about her. She is more of a cunt than a nice person, but there is at least something good about her. I wish I could tell you what it is, but I don't want to spoil the movie, so I won't. So yes, he might be a cunt, but god damn it, she is a fucking awesome character regardless. Now the next character that I want to talk about is Ton Watson, played by Justin Theroux. Okay, I'm going to be very brief in describing him. He is a major part of the story and he realizes that she has been watching the houses from the trains. Enough said. Now the third and final card of the movie that I would like to talk about is Detective Sergeant Riley, played by Alison Janey. Now she is an agent of some sort. I don't know if she is an FBI agent or if she works for the local police. Needless to say, she is still a fucking awesome character. And she is exactly the reason why the protagonist of the movie is in such fucking trouble. So yeah, there is a lot of fucking conflict in the movie, mainly because of her getting the protagonist into trouble. There are other characters in the movie worth talking about, but I'm moving on to talking about something else. The next thing that I'm going to talk about is the fucking flashbacks. And this movie has a lot of them. This movie is not in chronological order at all, which can be a bad thing, but in this movie it's actually a very fucking good thing. This is a thriller that is supposed to tell us more about that woman, and because of that it doesn't have to be in chronological order. In fact, the fact that it is not in chronological order is exactly what makes this movie so fucking awesome because it makes me care about the protagonist of the movie even more. Now it's time for my overall thoughts. I didn't expect much from this movie but ended up fucking loving it. And for that I'm going to give this movie a rating 2 thumbs up. Is it one of my favourite movies of the year? No, not even close. In fact, I don't think it would even make it to honorable mentions if I were to make a list video like that this year. It's a great movie but there are a lot of better movies in 2016. But I still fucking love it though. Well guys that's all I gotta say. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.